Hi everyone, um, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Jess. Um, a lot of people name, um, you know, know me as Jess Creative because you know I have a, a extensive experience on graphic design and I've been working with a lot of clients in Puerto Rico. Now I'm living here in Orlando for two years and and the experiences in here have been really really good. Um, actually, I'm the art director of AllPrintsForYou.com or AllPrintsForYou, located in the Goldenrod Road. Uh, 1360 North uh, here in Orlando, Florida. So I'm really uh, pleased and really proud to mention that I'm working as a partner in there and I re really, really love what I do. So a little bit of the, um, you know, the uh, all the things that I, that I do uh, besides uh, graphic design, it's also web design um, and, you know, graphics for TVs and a little bit of everything because graphic design barks a little bit of everything in media and communications and all that. But today I just want to uh, show you how to make a basic logo with just basic uh, content and uh, ba basic concepts and everything. So uh, we are gonna use here Illustrator from CS4. I know that we have already CS5 but uh, I don't have it. I don't have it yet. I, ha I don't uh, I have I need to upgrade my uh, software from Adobe but you know um, a lot of people just struggle a little bit because they want to use uh, they want to make a website they want to make postcard business card but they don't have a logo and let me tell you something uh, logo is one of the important things when you're trying to brand your company um, if you want to name or your company I don't know um, uh, logo graphic creations for example you need a logo for that even though it's a company for logos, but you need a logo because your logo is like your name, is is your brand. It's gonna be your your identification. All right. So really quick, um, let's go and use um, Adobe Illustrator to create this uh, logo. Really quick. So first thing that I always start is um, the company name. So because of this is uh, a sample, we're gonna use just the name company. There we go. We have a company there. First of all, I'm really um, picky and really, uh, you know, restricted guy when I'm using fonts because fonts tell you tells the concept about the logo. So this let's think that this company it's for um, I don't know. Um, let's go with. Uh, Sports like uh, skate skateboards, I don't know, um, like really extreme sports, something like that. So let's use this logo over here that the name is Cracked or Cracked. I think it's Cracked. It. So now that we have the font that we're gonna use, we're gonna right click the text and we're gonna create, we're gonna select the create outlines, and you will see the difference. You can see all that little dots. That means that um, we com uh, convert the logo as, um, as a vector. We we using now vectors, and this is really important because vectors allows um, logos and graphics to, you know, um, blow in them like any size you want, any size you want, in any program you want. For example, if, if we are we are doing some banner like 10 feet by 10 feet and we have the logo in vectors we definitely can uh, can put the logo really big for a billboard or something like that because um it it, it allows us to do that with that um feature on illustrator so we're going to stretch it here a little bit it's going to be really simple now that we have company uh your name actually we're going to select a color of your you know depending on the con of the concept now the concept we're going to use is this color and I'm gonna use blue as well. So now it's gonna create just a symbol in here. I'm gonna use a symbol like this is a, you know, a board, and just gonna use like little, you know, little wheels in here. In here. Now I'm not gonna, I'm, you know, it's a bit, it's better if I could copy and paste the same that we have in there, because it gives you the same measurements of it circle in this case we're going to use circles as there we go 
Now we have the board like in here, skateboard. And there you go. Seems like a skateboard. We're gonna group it, and we're gonna select another color to make a difference in there. There you go. Now I want to I'll make an, an effect in here because I want to like uh, distort it a little bit. So we're gonna use um, twist. I'm gonna twist like and we, the angle. We're gonna put just one um, degree. Oh, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Let's go for it again and let's go with distort, free distort. No, I want to use something really cool. So let's go with, yeah, let's go with distort, twist, and let's put five. Can preview, you can see here, see? Let's put 10. Preview, there we go. There we go, it's simple. Now we're gonna put it a little bigger. I'm gonna put it here on the bottom and put the text transform orange or select. In this case, orange, bring to front. And we gotta put the this on the back. There you go, you can put it over here. You can be creative, that's, that's the thing. So now that you have a logo, you just put something together in here, like some symbols, cool stuff in here. One of the tools that I really love is it, it names the the name is Pathfinder. Pathfinder allows you to to divide the uh, or trim any graphics or any shape that you're using or, tr or trying to use to. Um, Divided, trim, merge, crop, outline, or minus back. Minus back gives you that. If you use divide and ungroup, it gives you the same shape, but I already cut it. So I'm going to use that moon. So I like the, the shape that it, it took. And we're going to put it in here. So basically, it just depends on the concept. If you have a client or you want to create a logo for you, and you not decide about the con the you know the concept of the logo, you have to think about that first, and then you create the logo. If you have a logo, they say they say it's company and just simple shapes and stuff, and just have an, give you an idea of um, how do we create logos for any occasion. So there we go. Now we can, you know, I don't know if you don't like the board, you just kind of want to use just the moon, this shape over here, and just, you know, make a, a lot of, another effect and make it arrange to the back and use that like it's a, it's a, it's a shadow, or, oh, you know, change colors. Let's just add a shadow and I want to put some gradients in here. And there we go. Let's use the gradient tool to make it lighter to the you know use the, the whole thing. And now I wanna change the color of the gradient and you know keep the orange. Oops. Oops, sorry. Yeah, you're all right. I wanna keep the orange. And also, let's put some yellow in the white. There you go. So now you have another logo. Depends. Depends on the um, the concept. So there you go, guys. I'll be posting more videos about how to do stuff. I just want to introduce myself and the stuff and things that I can do right away in in a couple of minutes. And yeah, um, soon I will update um, my YouTube channel, including videos on how to do websites, uh, how to do um, how to, how to make business card, postcards, posters, how to cut the photo pictures, um, how to outline pictures, how to uh, you know make funny stuff. We're gonna have a lot of fun. So subscribe, and you will have uh, um, my videos and all the updates. I also have a Twitter. It's a twitter.com slash jesscreative, and you can find me on, on Facebook as well, facebook.com slash 
uh, just creative as well. So see you soon, guys. Thank you.